baby truck out back that barely runs So what do you say we go and fill the rug Final one lane gravel country road Now we're just here at the Laponia Visitor Center at five o'clock in the afternoon we turned up here so we just decided to load the bikes up and uh, head off somewhere down the road and do a bit of camping so no idea where we're staying this evening yet we'll sort that problem out in about now's time now we'll just get the bikes loaded so we can have a little cycle tour here in the Stora national park here in lapland in sweden okay bikes are rolling here in the Stora national park First time we're cycle touring here in Lapland. So let's see if we can uh, manage to survive mosquitoes. I'm pretty aggressive at the moment here. Could be the biggest problem, I think. Otherwise, we've got uh, two days on our bikes now exploring this uh, park. There's one road in and one road out. So, uh, we don't have too many options, but that's what we have. So, that's what we're going to do. So, uh, enjoy the scenery now as we explore cycle through national park here. So it's perfect because it's evening but the good thing is it's light here yeah. uh, north of the polar cycle. So that's very good. And you have a perfect view of the mountains from here. Okay yeah so little traffic Oh, like three bikes next to each other. So even though we're only uh, around 40, 50 kilometers from uh, Sarek National Park, which is to the south of this, it looks completely different here. And this is uh, the good thing about this one is we can cycle straight through the mountains here. We couldn't do that in Sarek National Park. We can only park the car and walk in. So high we ride the wind. Even on a cloudy evening here, this place is spectacular. It must be amazing to see it. the day where the sun is shining and the sky is blue. And soon we'll find a place to put the tent up. Okay, tent is up. We found a place here. Right next to the, uh, the dam there. Sit on the rocks and uh, have some dinner now. Hope it doesn't rain too much. Battling a bit with mosquitoes again. So, that's the only minus apart from that. Uh, a great area to explore. National Park, we've just been camping here. In between two waterfalls, we've got a choice of two waterfalls to look at here. This, uh, the waterfalls there, they've been dammed, so maybe this is uh, used for hydropower. It's a great view we have on the camping spot here. Jamie's been reading the brochure this morning about the store and national parks. Have any facts to tell everybody? Yes. It's, um there is uh, any more lynx. Lynx? Lynx, yeah. It's like cat. a big cat that uh, lives here in the rocky area here. And it, but it's a very big cat. I hope we are not meeting that big cat today. And there's reindeers and elves and things. And they run into a courtyard. We'll see what we see today on the road. We're cycling through this uh, national park today, going as far as we can on this road until we get to a lake. And we'll see if we can camp there and uh, see if we can uh, survive the mosquitoes. Yesterday was pretty bad here. This morning is okay because it's windy, so now from now on, we actually like the wind. First time cyclists like wind, <laughs> but uh, keep the mosquitoes away. So uh, now at the moment, we're free of mosquitoes, so we can get off from the tent and get on the road. Ready to go? Okay, let's get to work.
water gushing down from everywhere. Such an amazing national park here. Yeah. Amazing, we can cycle straight through the middle of it. Yeah. So this next stretch of road, there's a risk of falling rocks. See why we cycle past this uh, huge mountain we have to our right here now. Fantastic mountain here. It's a shame it's uh, lighted by this electric power cable there. Well, that's the way it's like when uh, the modern world is so uh, hungry for power that we all need. The areas like this are such beauty have to be converted into hydropower. filled our bottles up with in the waterfall there before it tastes so fresh and great and clean I wish I could take a lot of it home amazing clean nice tasting water here what a place not sure whether this uh, video will do it justice it's a magnificent place to cycle through the reason I well, we came here was because of one picture that I have in the uh, one of the travel guides of Sweden that I've had for some years. Just one small picture of two uh, lonely cyclists cycling up here in this remote area. So one day we have to go up and have a look, see what it looks like. Definitely worth it. Time for a lunch break here. On the, on the way to Ritzium at the moment. So Jamie keeps eating and eating. It hasn't stopped yet. Yeah, What's that? That's bread and two kicks. That's very good. Uh, you enjoy your lunch more when you've been biking. You appreciate uh, nice food here instead of sitting in the car and just turn up in some restaurant. It's not the same. This is much better. Oh, have a rest and we'll be back on the road. Oh, the weather changes fast here. A few minutes ago we're sitting having our lunch in the sun. Now it's raining and windy. So, have to be prepared for all kinds of weather here. That was a short shower. Sky is blue again. So we can dry out. Heading now for Ritzem. the lodge where you can stay overnight I'm sure we get a cup of coffee here okay we just had a great uh, coffee break there in the mountain hut there met some other people walking on the Kongsleden so it's a 450 kilometer hike it takes about I think between a month or two months depending on how slowly or quickly you want to take it that was good to speak to some of the other adventurers there on a big trip so we've got about another 10 kilometers to do now up the mountain here heading away from the town to see if we can find a place to camp so uh, luckily here it doesn't go dark so put the rain clothes on egg once again and we'll uh, head up the mountain here now we have to make a change of plans we were planning to cycle up this mountain here to a lake where there's a campsite but it's uh being blocked off, authorised personnel only. That's a bit of a shame. It would have been nicely to cycle up the mountain there. But the good thing is that there's a very beautiful rainbow here. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. So it looks like this uh, power station has taken over the whole valley here. It's a bit of a shame. Now, I had to find another place to camp, I think. 
You want to know the good news? From yeah. here? The guy in the car, we're allowed to go through with the bikes. This is no problem. You're okay. So once you say the road is closed and police and camera... It, says, and it doesn't matter. It's no problem. You can go on your bikes. So he says it's a nice place to camp up by the lake. So. Nice. So. Okay. Show is back on. <laughs> We should come to a lake where uh, hopefully we can camp. So that was the uh, end of our day here, cycling into the store. National Park here. So, uh, yeah, that's been an amazing day. Nice road, there's only one road in, and tomorrow is the same road out again. Um, the road ends just a bit further on in the lake here where we are. So, uh, not really too many options, but uh, it's been an amazing day to cycle here. Little traffic, amazing views all the way. Um, a mixture of uh, weather, we've had everything from sun, wind, no wind, rain. Uh, this evening it's pretty cold here up on the top of the field here and uh, it's quite windy at some point but no mosquitoes but uh, we wanted to uh, have something to eat inside the tent nice and warm there meadow and meadow's been pretty cold jamie's okay as always so uh they're tucked in bed now trying to get warm in the sleeping bag and uh yeah got a brilliant view of the lake here so uh amazing spot there's nobody to be seen anywhere around place completely to herself great place okay tomorrow we're back on the bikes here doing a kind of the reverse of today we'll see what uh, the weather brings now we know the route so uh, should be another good day on the bikes cycling back out of this national park here. okay see you tomorrow July. Just been uh, in the tent because it's been raining, so we've been having our breakfast in the tent. But uh, Jamie has magical connections to the ink gods, so we got the rain to stop. So that was good, Jamie. You did a good job. You yeah. can even can see a bit of blue sky there. I'm afraid to God that, that the, the rain will stop, and five minutes later, then the rain stopped. <laughs> and we then, thought we were then sitting then in the blue sky came, and then I said. One more time that the clouds here, there was great clouds that they need to move to the mountains and then they just push, I just push, push the clouds away so now they on left and right side of us now. Mm -hmm. So now the tent's even drying out. And Jamie did a good job yesterday, he's prepared the tent with these stones here to make sure the tent is stable in a storm. That's really in Iceland a few years ago. So, uh, Today we didn't actually uh, get a storm, but a few hours ago it was quite warm and sunny and it rained and rained and rained, I thought we were sitting in the tent all day but managed to, Jamie managed to sort that out so now we get in there, bikes loaded and uh, we'll admire the view last time and then we'll be heading off back down to the ranger station I think and get a cup of coffee there because we couldn't get the cooker out this morning so. Okay, let's get packed away and ready to go Markers on the side of the road just give you some idea how deep the snow is up here in the winter time. In Ritsam is a pretty big uh, camping site, lots of caravans here, but we don't see any people at all, it's completely deserted. And they all seem to have these uh, kind of uh, shed wooden hut things on the side of them. This is used in the winter, maybe. Right drizzle most of the day here as we head out, but uh, the good thing is we've got a nice tailwind now, so keeping us uh, moving along quite nicely today. Look at the wind. Jimmy thinks we're entering the land of King Kong here.
can stop here in the mountain station here. It's uh, warmed up a little bit, a little bit cold today. So we can have our lunch here. It'll be nice with a cup of warm coffee and sit in the dry for a bit. Oh, the coin man that uh, runs the mountain lodge here so we can go inside and warm up and eat our lunch in here. Very nice of him. The day when it's a little bit cold. So, the places I love finding and coming to. Also used on the Kongsleden trail here. Okay, we're really lucky people today. Let us stay here. <laughs> oh, look at this. Even a fire. Oh. Have our lunch here in the joint. It's the perfect place to come. The mountain lodge owners just put more wood on, so I know it's uh, roaring away behind us. <laughs> I feel like the luckiest people in the world we can sit here in the warmth and have lunch. He's even made a cup of coffee for us. <laughs> Time to come out in the cold again. It has just been pulled away from a nice fire. I don't want to go out. That was a great lunch stop. The owner of the uh, hut or the ward, hut warden, him let us go there, have our lunch, and uh, warm up by the fire, and even made a pot of coffee for us. Can't be better. Now we are ready just to do the last 20 kilometers back to where we started. There's an old beat up Chevy truck out back that barely runs. What do you say we go and fill the rug? Find a one lane gravel country. Yeah, what's going on? The river just pushes down till the sun comes up. Waiting here for us. His family has returned. <laughs> crash. <laughs> Final moment. <laughs> yeah, we just driven back to the car. This is where we go real wild camping. So we're in the middle of a storm here on the lake here. Hurricane camping, not even wild camping anymore. This is hurricane, hurricane wild camping. Right on the lake here. Got uh, some of the biggest rocks we can find. And keep the uh, guide ropes in position. So I think it's okay. Uh, very nice place to camp. Try to wake up every morning and be thankful. See, that's the mist blowing off the waterfall there. Be grateful for every chance you're given to see another. Okay, so that was the end of our yeah, short mini adventure here in the Store National Park in Lapland. We had a a few days to spend here, we managed to get the bikes out, do a bit of cycle touring. There's one road in, one road out, that's all we could do really as cycle tourists. We didn't see anybody else here on bikes, only us. I think most of the people they're heading for no cap, so don't uh, yeah, maybe have the time or want to spend a few days biking an extra 200 kilometers in and out here. But uh, for us in the car, we could come straight in and enjoy this fantastic area. What an amazing place, absolutely magnificent. Uh, mountains around us uh, it's a little bit harsh conditions and even though we're in the middle of the summer here um, it's pretty cold last night in the tent and windy and stormy we've got a mixture of sun rain wind it's a uh, overall great trip these are uh, mountain stations that we uh, found on the way there they're great just to come in and get warm and uh, the 
people here actually extremely friendly. The Sami people. These are the uh, the people who lived here for thousands of years in this area. Live off the land and live together with the animals. Um, even though we're just tourists, uh, we're uh, very uh, friendly actually and uh, helped us with everything we needed. So great. So yeah, overall, please we came up here. It's a long way from Denmark, but uh, really worth. Yeah. Spending a few days here, just uh, what an amazing wilderness um, place to explore. Okay, and see what else uh, awaits us on the way home. We've got a few days home in the car now. Don't think there's any time for biking, but we'll see what we see on the way. So, okay, until next time, bye bye. So little traffic. Right, three bikes next to each other. Oh, there's a car coming. <laughs> and way in the distance. So I'm just showing the guests around the facilities on these kind of holidays. Especially this camping. You uh, don't have any toilet facilities, but just down here, the perfect place. Completely natural, perfect to live with the view. <laughs> Works. It's a very powerful connection this morning. 